Hi there. Now, before we start part B, just a quick reminder that if you looked at the previous video for part A, we had to show that this differential equation could be changed by this substitution, y equals xv, into this equation here. And now we've got to solve this differential equation to find v as a function of x for six marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll run through the work solution, or you might want to fast forward just to the end. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, to solve a differential equation like this, a second order linear differential equation, because it's got a function of x at the end here, what I need to do is first of all consider the auxiliary equation so that I can get what we call the complementary function. And then I'm going to look at finding a particular integral. And so then the general solution, v, will be equal to the complementary function plus the particular integral. So we'll start first of all then with the auxiliary equation. So we'll just put aux up there for short, auxiliary equation. And I'm assuming that you're familiar, by the way, with solving these kinds of equations. If not, do check out the tutorials on my website. So for this, the auxiliary equation will be 4m squared, say, plus 4, and it would equal 0. And we need to solve this then for m. So if I subtract 4 from both sides, divide by 4, m squared would equal minus 1. So m squared equals minus 1. And then if I square root both sides, m is going to equal plus or minus i. So that means that therefore the complementary function, okay, cf for short, is going to be v equals a constant, which I'll call a, e to the ix, plus another constant, which I'll call b, and that will be multiplied with e to the power minus ix. Now, you could give an alternative to this, just to remind you that anything of the form a e to the ix is equal to a times cos x plus i sine x, and a term like this, b e to the minus x, is equal to b times cos x minus i sine x, okay? So if I were to add these two together, as I'm doing here, then I've got a cos x plus b cos x, so that's going to be a constant times cos x. So I could say that, or v could be equal to a constant, let's say we call it c times cos x. And then if I do a i sine x plus b times minus i sine x, you're going to end up with another constant, i times sine x. So if I call that constant d, we could say that we've got i d sine x. So that's another version that you could have for your complementary function. Now we need to go on and find a particular integral pi for short. And for this, because we've got x on the end here, I'm going to say let then that particular integral be of the form v equals a constant, which I'll call k times x. And if I call this a, what we need to do is find out what d2v by dx squared is going to be. So if we differentiate this with respect to x, we would therefore have for v, differentiating that with respect to x, we get dv by dx. And this will equal just simply k. All right. So from this, it follows that if I differentiate again d2v by dx squared, then what we're going to get when we differentiate the constant is 0. And I'll call this result b. So what I need to do now is to substitute these values for a and b into this equation here, 2. So we'll just put that up here. Okay, It's going to be a bit of a squash, but I hope you can see it. We'll sub a and b okay, into 
2. All right. Now, if we do that, we're going to have 4 times 0 then. 4 times 0. We just put that in even though we know it's 0. 4 times 0 plus 4 times v. But v is kx from a here. So 4kx. And that equals the x here. So really, we've got 4kx equals x, meaning that 4k would equal 1. So therefore, k must be equal to a quarter. So now that we've got k equals a quarter, we're in a position to write down the particular integral. And that particular integral was v equals kx. But we now know that k is a quarter, so we've got quarter x or x over 4. So that means that, therefore, our general solution, let's just put that in, general solution, remember is that it will be v equals the complementary function, cf, plus the particular integral, pi. And so, therefore, we've got two versions for this that we can quote. We've got v equals, and if we take for the complementary function, the first one up here, which was ae to the ix plus be to the power minus ix. That's our complementary function plus the particular integral, which is plus x over 4. Or we could give the other version, which was v equals the other complementary function, which was here, c cos x c cos x plus i times d sin x and then plus the particular integral of x over 4. All right.